Welcome to EBI SQL e Invoice Sharing. We proudly invite Mr. Brian Chong, who is the Ambassadors and Speakers of SQL Accounting Software. He is a CEO of Syntax Technology as well. We are going to share a series of Q&A about e-invoice to all of you. If you are first time watching this video, please watch our previous video so that you can get the better understanding of e-invoice. Since the timing of the implementations of three stages is based on the income of the company in 2022, how about if the company is newly established this year? As long as your company incorporates after 2023, your implementation of e-invoice will only start on 1st of July 2025. Why do we need to understand e-invoice? Malaysia is going into e-invoice era starting from the year 2024. All business will be start to issue e-invoice by stages to all of your customers. And this is a huge change to your operations and the way you do business. Last time, we just need to issue an invoice to customer, customer pay you money, that's all. But in e-invoice era, you no longer can directly issue invoice to your customer. You need to issue an invoice, send to LHDN, get approval, and convert the information inside the e-invoice, and then only you can send to your customer. This is not only applicable to invoice, but also credit note, debit note, and also refund note. So that's why you need to understand the flow of e-invoice. And how about there's something called consolidated e-invoice and also self fill e-invoice. You need to understand all this and change your operation to adopt to e-invoice requirements. So that's why you need to understand e-invoice. So in that case, that means all of us need to understand e-invoice much so that actually it can be smooth in terms of overall operations. Correct. Yeah. So with this, which industries particularly affected by this e-invoice? Basically, if you are sole proprietor, partnership, LLP, Sundram Berhad, Berhad, or just a unit trust and whatsoever, as long as you are involved in business, you need to issue an invoice, then you need to do e-invoicing. That means every taxpayer that involved in business, you need to do e-invoicing. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, Ryan. Stay Thank tuned you. for our next video. Bye.